A safety recall has been issued for 22,706 Holden Captiva SUVs that are at risk of a fuel leak. It's possible a fracture can develop in the fuel feed hose connector in Holden Captiva CG models equipped with a 2.0-liter diesel engine. Set the ACCC recall notice. In a worst-case scenario, the fuel feed hose could disconnect and leak fuel, resulting in an engine stall or an engine bay fire. Holden has stated it will directly contact owners of diesel Coptiga SUVs sold between 2007 and 2010 to alert them to the recall of their vehicles. Like all voluntary recalls, owners are urged to bring their cars to an official Holden dealership to have the problem parts replaced. Free of charge, Holden says it is only a minor repair and that customers can continue to drive their vehicles in the meantime. Meantime, Hyundai has recalled 10,617 Sonata and Grand residents to resolve a potential fire risk. After it was discovered that a defect on the ABS circuit board can lead to a fire risk if it comes in contact with water. The recall affects the Sonata mainly with only around 1,000 Grangers affected. The models at risk are Hyundai Sonata NF and Hyundai Granger TG sold between August 2004 and December 2013. Jeep has also recently issued a recall for certain Wrangler vehicles that can turn their brake lights permanently, allowing the vehicle to be shifted out of park without requiring the brake pedal to be pressed. Jeep Wrangler models sold in 2017 may be affected by the problem which was traced to malfunctioning brake switch separately. Citroen is recalling C4 Picasso People Mover vehicles sold in Australia between August 2013 and April 2016. For a fault with the vehicle's cooling system, in a worst-case scenario, the engine computer can malfunction and the engine may overheat, potentially seizing it and stopping the car suddenly as a result. Peugeot has identified the same fault with 308 small cars sold between November 2014 and April 2015 in which cooling systems can malfunction, potentially leading to engine overheating and seizure. Meanwhile, Audi has issued a recall for Q3 compact SUVs sold between September 2016 and November 2016 due to an airbag fault. The issue is not related to the lethal Takata airbag recall affecting more than 100 million cars globally, including 4 million in Australia. A potentially defective weld on the gas generator connected to the passenger airbag may prevent it from inflating properly, which could present an injury hazard in the event of a collision in Australia. Automotive safety recalls are voluntary but car makers are compelled to contact affected owners to alert them of the risks associated with their vehicle in the event of a recall. However, many people remain apathetic when contacted and manufacturers cannot reach them if they have changed address or their cars have changed hands. You can contact the manufacturer or one of its official dealers directly to find out if your vehicle is affected by a recall. Alternatively, if you know the vehicle's vehicle identification number which is usually located on the compliance plate inside the engine bay, you can search the Product Safety Australia website.